Hugo has a lot of little changes, but his design is really strict. You can't give him a medium normal that special cancels, or else he'll have medium into clap, medium into clap, for example. Omega tried really hard to work around that, but sadly you can feel the restraint in most parts of his character. Stain Jab no longer chains, but it's plus enough to link out of, like Ultra. You can now link into Low Strong, which is pretty nice, since Low Strong now super cancels. Stain Short is now 2 hits and does 70 damage, a small improvement. More notably, Stain Short's first hit has the most hits done of all his cancels. You can naturally combo a Stain Short into Light Clap. Or even Stain Short into Heavy Clap on Counter Hit. This makes Stan Short his best normal to cancel the clap on block, naturally. Short is too slow to link from a light clap, preventing a loop. It has a bit too much pushback to be good in regular clap combos. But it's very nice after an EX clap. The most important thing it does is let Hugo get a decent punish even if the opponent's only minus 8. You can't start every punish with claps, after all. Low forward seems to be faster, with more forward movement, less pushback, and a damage boost. It's easier to punish now, but maybe a better low poke in general. Unfortunately, it doesn't combo after a light clap either. Stand strong is pretty much the same, but you can now charge it. At full charge, you get a shockwave. The damage isn't too much higher, but the extra reach is really nice. If you hit with just the hand, Stand Strong is now only 80 damage. I don't remember if it was like that in Ultra, and I'm too lazy to check. Stand Forward is still a pretty awkward normal, but you can charge it too, and it becomes a real overhead. What's more, the second hit of the overhead version can be cancelled to super, and because it's two hits, it can be confirmed on reaction. Stan Fierce is yet another chargeable normal. It's naturally a pretty strong overhead, but the normal version lost its armor. This obviously hurts Hugo's anti-airs, but he got the best possible anti-air option in return, so you won't miss it much. If you charge Fierce, it has armor during the swing. On hit, it crumples the opponent. This was obviously recycled for Abigail's VT1, but for Hugo, it's meterless and an overhead. The damage is the same as a level 2 focus, but it only counts as one hit of scaling instead of two, so the combos end up being stronger. Roundhouse is mostly the same. It's a horribly unsafe and pretty slow overhead. You might say it charges. It's more like a one-button turnaround punch. Holding it then releasing gives Hugo a giant overhead dropkick called Dora Kick in the move list. Higher charges have some pretty insane power and range. Unfortunately, from what I can tell, it doesn't have any armor or invincibility on release, and it's not good at avoiding fireballs. It's so slow it won't combo from any cancel, not to mention the startup is very reactable, so it's not good as an overhead. It won't even combo from Focus Crumple, unless it's a level 3 Focus Backdash into a low charge drop kick. Once it hits, you have no juggles out of it, nor a super cancel. It's also really minus on block. So the only useful thing it seems to do is a boatload of chip. Towards Fierce is about as slow and useless as it was in Ultra, but it does have one very interesting property. If it hits a mid-air opponent, it causes a real hard knockdown, which are very rare in Omega. Leaf Attack is about the same. Tons of plus frames if it's meaty or spaced. If you do Towards Fierce plus Roundhouse, Hugo does Diamond Body. It's a parry like Ryu's and Zangief's, and works really similarly. Long recovery, but short recovery if it parries something, and you can cancel it to itself to parry multi-hit moves. Like Ryu, and unlike Zangief, Hugo has a follow-up. During the parry, if you hit punch, Hugo will do a chest bump. The threat of this already makes punishing the parry a bit scarier, but it's not invincible. If you hit multiple punches, you can spend a bar to make it invincible, as well as doing a smidge more damage. The EX follow-up will also reflect fireballs. 
Almost everything about this parry was obviously recycled at the Abigail's kit. If you successfully parry something, the chest bump will always be invincible. There's no super cancel or follow-up of any kind, regardless. I've shown a few clap combos already. All versions are faster, with less frame advantage and more pushback. Heavy and EX clap both combo to light clap, and those are the only two multi-clap combos without counter hit. Light is slightly minus on block, heavy is slightly plus, medium is between. EX Clap has very low pushback, decent frame advantage, and good damage. You have improved combos off of EX Clap due to that low pushback. Note the amount of meter I spend and the amount I get back. You can still do claps and juggles, and they launch the opponent somewhat higher on hit. Light Lariat has more movement before the swing, which is a godsend for Hugo's conversions. Like T-Hawk, Hugo can now actually end combos. Medium and Heavy Lariat both seem near useless. EX Lariat is still good for its armor. Shoot down Backbreaker didn't change much. The EX version lost invincibility, sadly. It now has more juggle potential than the meterless versions, which gives you optimal 1 bar juggle enders. Moonsault Press does 20 more damage for light and medium, but 10 less for heavy, actually. The EX version does 50 more damage, but otherwise seems unchanged from Ultra. Ultra Throw seems pretty much unchanged from USF4, though your follow-ups are a bit different. Meat Squasher is mostly unchanged, but the range at the end seems to be different. Stand Jab and Stand Strong are both consistent. Unfortunately, the jab doesn't seem to have any enders, though you almost certainly have some character-specific stuff. Apart from the dropkick and parry, Hugo only has one new special move, but it was definitely the hot topic when he was first being explored. Shoryuken Motion then Punch gives you Victory Column. This is a real Shoryuken. Light is fastest, heavy is strongest. All versions are invincible, naturally including EX. All versions make good anti-airs, but the light one is probably the best just because it's the fastest meterless one. You can combo the light or medium versions from light normals. This is generally Hugo's best combo under for damage. But if you're too far out, you've got to use light lariat instead. Any hit can FADC. If you FADC the second hit, you can do dash light backbreaker, which is damage optimal. This is probably Hugo's best way to spend two bars in a normal combo, but it's not that strong compared to most Omega characters. If you FADC the first hit, the launch is very high. You can dash in either direction and get heavy shoot down backbreaker, which gives you a potential side swap. Particularly, if you FADC backdash the first hit, Hugo can juggle an Ultra 2. I don't think anyone was anticipating Hugo getting sure you can FADC Ultra in Omega mode. Naturally, only the EX version FADCs on block. Hugo's super still has huge range, and it can still be cancelled by holding punch. It works easily in juggles, but even if it hits on the ground, you can no longer juggle a backbreaker out of it. On block, it works like a mega phase super. It's only 4 hits and only minus 5. But if Hugo hits punch, he gets an invincible 5th hit, which can catch people trying to punish the 4 hit version.
Of course, if they fully block the fifth hit, it's massively unsafe. Hugo's Ultra 1 is unchanged, and you can combo into it from a charge stand fierce. But Ultra 2 has noticeably less juggle potential and won't work in a lot of Ultra combos. It works after raw Ultra Throw, a DPF ADC backdash, or an anti air clap. Anything else and it falls out. Ultra 2 supports this mix up better by chasing jumps and backdashes, and it's somewhat easier to confirm, so I think it still usually is better Ultra, but the setups are weaker than USF 4. Hugo's pressure with claps is still quite strong, but definitely not as good as it was in Ultra, even with improved clap speed. He doesn't get to play powerful meaty mix ups with deliberately mistimed claps into SPD anymore. Generally, he's forced to play neutral more, which is definitely a problem considering his slow movement. The parry and uppercut were really nice additions, but his damage relies on you landing Ultra Throw, Heavy Clap, or Charge Stand Fierce, none of which are that easy to land, so instead of being one of the highest damage characters in the game, he's one of the lowest, which is strange. The DP really does help his anti-air and invincibility, which are huge areas of weakness for Ultra Hugo, not to mention it makes his up-close mix-up even better, so he's a really mixed bag overall.